Water. Water. Please. So thirsty. Water. Why can I have some of your water, please? We are called to be generous. This is a command found throughout the entirety of the Bible, from the book of Leviticus, when the Israelites were instructed to leave part of their harvest for the needy, all the way to the New Testament in Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, when he commanded them to be cheerful givers. Another example is found in the book of Proverbs, where Solomon writes this, whoever brings blessing will be enriched, and one who waters will himself be watered. Here, Solomon is writing about the virtue of generosity. Throughout scripture, we're told that we will be blessed when we're generous to others. Does that mean if I give, I can get super rich? God rewards those who use the gifts he's blessed them with to bless others. We're not called to give out of the incentive of personal gain. We're called to give and serve others out of recognition that God has given us everything we have. When we receive more as a result of our giving, it's so we can serve others even more. But I don't have a lot of money, so how can I give? It's not just money we're called to be generous with. God has given and trusted us with everything we have. Our time, talents, money, relationships, opportunities, and we're called to serve him through every aspect of our life. This is one way that we can steward our lives, practicing generosity at every opportunity we have to serve others. As we continue to learn to be generous, a great place to start can be the steward's prayer. Lord, what do you want me to do today with all you have trusted me with to honor you and to advance your kingdom? God bless you as you practice generosity today.